Hello everyone, back with an EDD update. We are continuing to monitor the top stories of the week, which include those PUA documentation requests that have gone out to over 1 million claimants. Now with less than a quarter so far having responded to those requests, we continue to receive reports that EDD is still incorrectly rejecting what should have been acceptable documentation. Meanwhile, those overpayment notices continue to be sent out, and the wait for those appeals hearings stretches into next summer. Now, with an estimated 1.4 million PUA documentation requests that have gone out to claimants, the EDD has indicated only around 20% have actually responded. But of those who have responded, an estimated 90% have been approved. However, there have been numerous claimants who have indicated their documents were incorrectly rejected. The type of documents you need to submit will all depend on your previous employment situation before filing for that PUA claim. The item you will want to submit in either situation that is most likely to be approved is your federal tax return for the tax year prior to filing for that PUA claim. If you are self-employed, then you will want to include your Schedule Cs, and for those with traditional employment, additionally, you will want to submit those W-2 forms with your tax returns. Now, if you find yourself in the position of having those documents incorrectly rejected and believe they in fact should have been approved, Obviously, there is the appeals process, but what you will want to do before filing that appeal is contact the EDD and speak to a Tier 2 representative who will have the ability to re-examine your submitted documents while on the phone with you to see if a mistake was made. Also, they also have the ability to reopen the document portal in your UI online account if you need to send in additional items. We continue to hear from a number of claimants that their document rejections have been in fact reversed when speaking to a Tier 2 representative and goes to the point of inconsistency among those who are responsible for reviewing work history documentation. Now, for those claimants who have received the notice of overpayment, they will have the ability not only to appeal the notice, but request an overpayment waiver to have any money owed to the state forgiven if the claim was not fraudulently obtained and they can prove financial hardship. Now, those overpayment waivers have not yet been approved as we have discussed recently, as all states are now requesting the federal government to take action on the topic of forgiving overpayments. And finally, with the increase of PUA documentation rejections, employer disputes, and overpayment notices, we're seeing a rise in appeals hearings. Unfortunately for those awaiting, they're still facing a six-month wait time. So for those claimants submitting appeals in the month of February, it is likely they will be waiting until August for an actual hearing date. For those waiting on appeals hearings, do keep in mind that EDD is not responsible for the appeals process, but rather the State of California Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board. Each appeal is overseen by an administrative law judge and is currently being done remotely due to the pandemic. It is possible that appeals hearings may return to local appeals board offices later this year. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments. So make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.